It's Lindsay Haney here again, back with my reflection of my professional development on distance learning and professional development. Um, so, basically, um, we have a lot of factors to include. Um, the agenda was the only thing that probably saved my life a few times. Uh, following an agenda is key and being and looking like you know what you're doing, especially so you're not all over the place. I had a small area on my whiteboard that I would reflect to and look at any time that I felt like I lost my place and it was very specific and bolded and easy to follow so that yes that saved my life and we did um, follow that agenda to the T. Um, and were the objectives of the meeting met? Absolutely, absolutely. The objectives um, to find out, uh, I wanted to see what teachers uh, liked about professional development that we had in the past over certain topics like for an example um, I asked, we did a learning walk and I asked them about the SLOs, our student learning objectives. Was that professional development over that successful and effective for you in the classroom? Why or why not? Um, also, is the professional development um, or was the professional development in the past effective for you? Uh, what would you like to see more? What would you like to see less? Um, also, uh, I also asked a question about professional development relating to learning how to use our uh, Canvas, which is our learning management software. Um, so I got some great answers with that. Um, teachers also told me that they would like the options to choose their own professional development and what they would like to learn, which makes sense. Why not give them that option? There's so many things that I want to learn, but I never find a professional development over it. I don't know why my district doesn't give us options, um, especially at convocation at the beginning of the year. I've been in this district for about six years, and um, at, when I first started, they would give us a list of different PDs to attend, and I also agreed with that teacher in the focus group um, that that was very beneficial at that time because I could attend all different types of PD that I wanted to see. Um, so moving on, and uh, were the revelations regarding time management, effective communication, collaboration? listening and relevance of topics discussed yes um so uh there was one teacher in particular and i'm sure you'll be able to figure it out after watching um, the bulk of the video um, who would ask questions and answer her question at the same time before her question was finished so i got some practice on being a good focus leader and um you know professionally moving us along because she was taking up a lot of my time um also the you'll see that that video is 45 minutes long because of this one specific person in the uh, focus group so yes um collaborating lots of collaboration uh, lots and lots of collaboration um probably too much collaboration so um, a little bit more time management um might be effective in the future uh let's see let's uh, okay, reflecting upon my, my experience, all right, so what went well, what would I change, what surprising information was revealed through this experience, how will this experience transform your practice as an administrator? Okay, so let me just tell you how it started in, pre in preparation for this PD. Um, trying to prepare for this professional development was extremely stressful to me because I have a lot of classes and I had a lot of meetings that week. I'm also in um, a leadership program for my district and we meet on Monday evenings and there's I'm also doing an action research paper for that so it's kind of like mm, double dipping here but um, I teachers in, in general planning was very difficult because I'm first a teacher for my students and you know just didn't have enough time in the day really to get through everything but teachers never have the same conference period as well so the ones that I invited to be in my focus group um, were very busy because it's the end of the year and um, I needed at least four teachers now luckily five committed and that that was wonderful and the planning and the sequence the sequencing was also a challenge for me I learned I know what I want to do it's all in front of me but how do I get it to connect and where do I begin and where do I you know um, just the whole um, putting everything in order and sequencing is something I need to focus on a little bit better because that was the hardest part of getting all of this together um, 
So besides the sequencing, I'm, I'm very comfortable speaking in public because I'm the department chair and I speak all the time in front of my department in public, but that doesn't mean I'm a good presenter. Um, I don't feel like I'm a good presenter, but what, what makes me even more nervous is when you add a camera. I hate, I'm very camera shy, I hate being on the camera, so that added to all my anxiety, so that was my least favorite. But once I started the PD, um, I started the PD session, and I forgot all about the camera, and I just got to work. And I think the professional development went very well. Um, we started with capturing kids' hearts, and I asked the teachers for a good thing, and then we introdu we did teacher introdu uh, introductions, sorry, and um, then after that, I introduced our focus area and for the professional de development, and I went straight into the activity to get them warmed up with the idea of past and present and future professional development and its effectiveness on the teacher. Um, the activity was a learning walk with several questions regarding professional development. Um, then we shared our thoughts and questions afterwards, and they were very open and collaborative. Um, that was very enlightening, and I proceeded to show them the professional development on a p futuristic pilot program um, that they may choose to be involved in in the near future. I introduced a distance learning um, uh, a distance learning program and showed them the data between struggling teachers and students that would benefit this program. I also showed them the data of teachers that um, are not experienced in their first year or going through their probationary certification um, in our district and that was a very high number and I also showed them the amount of those teachers that leave per year and that was a very high number too. So. Um, that was out of struggling and those schools that those teachers keep coming in and out of are struggling middle school So, you know, I targeted um, distance learning by getting our veteran teachers like them a lot that have an alignment with curriculum and the introductory courses You know able to pitch that to kids across the district and that would help overall our accountability rate as well so many 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 um, benefits to all of this so um, to keep me back on point though, so when I introduced um, the data uh, the teachers had never seen that data before that I put up, and they were astonished. They didn't see the data of the teachers that were inexperienced and how many leave versus, you know, and how many of our kids are in poverty at each school. They, I got that special data from my leadership program because I get to meet with the superintendents once every other week, and they we have a collaborative meeting over all of this information and how to change it um, to make our district better. Well, I got to share some of that with them, and they were really enlightened. I could see their eyes lighting up, and they were trying to copy everything I put on the board. And I, I told them, I'll send you, I'll send you an email. You don't have to, you know, write everything down. Um, so they were pretty astonished. But um, in reflection, okay. So let's see. What would I change? I would probably change my learning walk just a little bit. Um, I would do my learning walk a little bit different. So... Instead of them going back up to the board and switching um, ideas around, I think I would have them put their sticky notes and then explain why immediately to save on time only, really, because both are good at activities, but that's what I would probably change, if anything. Um, also, let's see, what, what, I changed, what surprising information was revealed, the distance learning program, they were like, ah! like a light bulb just went off in their head like distance learning what what you know um what is that well, how can we get oh and the incentive so the teachers that would leave we wouldn't replace them um so we'd have money for salary and we would get those teachers that were piloting the program or doing distance learning an incentive to continue to teach it because they have more students now you know um so how will my experience transform or practice as an administrator well I grew tremendously from this opportunity, and there were several eye-opening moments. Um, I grew, I, I got more comfortable being on camera. Um, I plan to continue the pilot program and the distance learning program, and I want to test my focus group um, on a pilot program, and those would be the teachers that were in that session, so they understand it. Um, we'll have future PD over this probably in the summer if they, if it, um, you know, agree to being tested or being the testers. Uh, my administration team told me that they even might they use this professional development video as a um, professional development video for the district. Ah, 
good job, Omar. Um, so I might be a little star in my district because I'm leading this PD and it will most likely be carried over to other schools to introduce the distance learning program. Um, so overall, I thought it was a success and I will continue to reflect upon this experience and grow from it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye.